are you familiar with the terminologies in algebraic expression? Can you identify the number of terms in this algebraic expression? In this video, I am going to help you to become familiar with all the terminologies in algebraic expression and also show you how to identify the terms in this algebraic expression. Welcome lovely one to Math Made Easy. My name is Anthony Osei Mensa, also known as Sir Tony. I am a mathematics teacher. In this video, I am going to help you to know some terminologies in algebraic expression. That is to say, some words or some vocabularies in algebraic expression. I have a video on introductions to algebraic expression. Check out that video. Click on the link in the description below. In this video, the fourth, the fifth and the sixth terminologies will change your understanding in algebraic expressions forever. So make sure you stay till the end of this video. I also have some questions for you to try on your own. Make sure you follow every single thing I say in this video. If you are ready, then please do me a favor and subscribe to this channel. Hit on the subscribe and also click on the bell icon to be notified anytime we upload new videos. If you are done subscribing, now let's get started with term number one. The first terminology is expression. It will be difficult to talk about terminologies in algebraic expression without looking at the word expression. An expression for that matter is a group of numbers and variables with operational signs to form a mathematical statement. This means that an expression has components such as either a variable or a number, or even both a variable and a number with one or more of the operational signs. To make it very clear, an expression can be terms or collection of terms separated by addition or subtraction sign. Some examples of expressions are Example number one, 3ax squared minus ym plus 5. Example number two, 2x cubed y plus 9y squared z power 4 minus 7p. And example number three, 10a plus into bracket a minus 2. When we take a look at all the examples, we will find operational signs, variables, and numbers in them. Now let's take a look at the next terminology. The next terminology is operational signs. Operational signs in mathematics can also be referred to as operations or algebraic operations or arithmetic operations. These operational signs include addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and so on. Operational signs perform actions on two or more numbers to produce a resultant number. The operational signs in algebraic expressions are the same operational signs in arithmetic expressions. In mathematics, arithmetic expressions are also referred to as numerical expressions. So in conclusion, there can never be an algebraic expression without an operational sign. So please take note of that very carefully. The next word that you have to know under terminologies in algebraic expression is the word term. Every expression is made up of terms. Now, a term can be in a form of a number or a variable or a constant multiplied by a variable or even two or more variables multiplying each other. All these are considered as terms when they are found in an expression. Let me show you one major way to identify terms in an expression. Terms in an expression are separated by the addition and the subtraction signs. So for example, let's take the expression 3ax squared plus ym 
minus 5. The terms in this expression are 3ax squared, ym, and 5. This is because 3ax squared is separated from ym by the addition sign. Also, 5 is separated from ym by the subtraction sign, and even making the term 5 a negative number, which is negative 5. So please don't forget that. In every expression, you can identify the terms by using the addition and the subtraction signs. Please take note that the multiplication and division signs do not separate terms of an algebraic expression. I repeat, the multiplication and the division signs do not separate terms when it comes to an algebraic expression. But rather, the multiplication and the division signs combine numbers and variables as one term. For example, in the expression 10xyz, 10 is multiplying the variables x, y, and z. This means that the variables are combined together by a multiplication sign. In view of this, 10xyz is considered as a single term. A similar situation is applied to the expression 4 divided by x. Now in this expression, 4 is divided by x. For that matter, 4 over x is considered as a single term in algebraic expression. Now let's take some examples of expressions and identify their terms and also give the number of terms available in each of the expressions. Now you can feel free to pause the video to check the examples well so that you will understand what they are made up of. The first expression is 7 plus x. There are two terms here in this expression, and these are 7 and x, since they are separated by the addition sign. The second expression is 5 minus xy minus 4a. Now, in this expression, there are three different terms. These terms are 5, xy, and 4a, since they are all separated by the subtraction sign. The third and final expression is 20m plus 15q minus 3x over y. Now, in this expression, there are three different terms. These terms are 20m, 15q, and 3x over y. Since these terms are separated by the addition and the subtraction sign. Before we take a look at the next terminology, now please, I want you to take note of this. Any expression which is written in a bracket is regarded as one term. Now, for example, 4 into bracket x plus 2 is a single term. And also, 5 plus 2x all into bracket and another bracket x plus 1 is also regarded as a single term. So please take note of that. Let me illustrate what I just said with an example. Let's take this expression. The terms in the expression are 3 into bracket x plus 5, 2xy over 7, and into bracket 6 plus 2x, also another bracket x plus 1. This clearly shows that there are three terms in the above expression. I will explain what like terms and unlike terms are in a separate video for you to understand massively. So stay tuned. Let's now talk about the next terminology which is variable. In algebraic expression, a variable is a letter or a symbol that is used to represent a number. A variable can also be called an unknown or unknown number. Now, this can be represented by letters from the alphabet or even symbols. In algebraic expression, we mostly use letters as variables. Now, some examples of these letters used as variables are A, B, C, X, Y, Z, and so on. Variable comes from the English word vary. The English word vary means something that changes. So clearly, something that changes is something that vary. This means that variables can change. The values of variables can change for any algebraic expression. Let's now take an expression and show its variables. Now, 
the example for the expression is 3ax squared minus ym plus 5. The variables in this expression are clearly a, x, y, and m. Let's take a look at the next terminology, which is coefficient. Coefficient is the number in front of a variable. When a variable is multiplying a constant, that constant is called a coefficient. Coefficient could either be positive or negative number. Please note that if there is no number in front of a variable, there is a coefficient of 1. Hence, the variable has a coefficient of 1. For example, x plus y minus 3. x and y has coefficient of 1. Since they do not have any number in front of them. Let's take a look at the expression 2a minus 3 fourth y. Now, in this expression, the coefficient of a is 2. And then the coefficient of y is 3 over 4, which is 3 fourth, which is the entire fraction that the y is multiplying. So in conclusion, any number in front of a variable is regarded as that variable's coefficient. Now let's look at the terminology constant. A constant is a number that stands alone and its value does not change. Also, any number whose value is known can also be called a constant. A constant as a number stays the same and do not have any variable attached to it. So a constant value cannot change no matter what happens. A number without a variable is best referred to as a constant. Even though you can call it coefficient, the right word for it is a constant in algebraic expression. Let's take this expression and identify its constant. The expression is 3ax squared minus ym plus 5. Now, clearly in this expression, we can all identify the constant as 5, since that number 5 stands alone without any variable attached to it. The last terminology is power, but for clarification's sake, I'll call it power for you to understand it well. A power is a small number written slightly above the end to the right of a variable or a number. Power is also referred to as an exponent or an index. When a variable or a number has no power, then the power for that variable or number is considered to be 1. Let's illustrate it with this example. Now from the expression 2x cubed plus 9y squared z power 4 minus 7p, the power of x is 3. Also, the power of y is 2. And then finally, the power of p is 1 in the expression. So finally, when all these terminologies come together to form a question, we can therefore refer to the question formed as an algebraic expression. Now that you know these terminologies in algebraic expression, let me give you an expression. Then you identify all the terminologies in the expression. The expression is 3x squared plus 7y minus 11. Please identify the terms coefficient, variables, constant, and powers in the algebraic expression on your screen. Please feel free to pause the video so that it can enable you to do the work well. These are the answers. How many of them did you get right? Please tell me in the comment section down below. Also, tell me which of the terminologies you find interesting and the particular terminology you come across most often in mathematics. Please make sure you leave your comment in the comment section down below. Lovely one, I hope you have understood every terminology in this video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up by clicking on the like button. Also, please share this video. 
if you want more mathematics videos then please subscribe to this channel make sure you click on the bell icon so that you can be notified anytime we upload new videos thanks for watching this video i really appreciate your time see you soon take care and god bless you